of any other faith to follow or believe. Now, I understand that there are many other faiths, but there's only one faith that's going to get you to the kingdom. Hallelujah. And Ephesians 4, 6 says, it is one God and Father of all who is above all and who is through all and in you all. Notice, now where's, where's God at? In you all. We're going to highlight that, okay? Because we're going to get to something on it. Highlight that now. In you all, okay? So whatever faith you may have been brought up in, I suggest that you follow the same faith that I just got finished reading about. Hallelujah, since we all have been accustomed to carrying these Bibles for quite a long time. Hallelujah. That is the faith of the Lord Jesus Christ. So the only faith that I'm going to be speaking about here tonight is the faith that is written in this book right here. All other faiths are false. God does not coexist with other faiths. He sticks with his faith. And the just shall live by his faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Again, let me say this statement. Religion cannot produce the works of God. Never have, never will. So since they cannot produce the works of God in order to make themselves feel better, they just do away with the power of God. Amen. Hallelujah. But we don't do away with the power of God. We welcome the power of God. Amen. Hallelujah. We welcome the power of Almighty Yah. Okay. Now the Bible says, now watch this. In Acts 20 verse 21, it says, testifying to the Jews and also to the Greeks, repentance towards God and faith towards our Lord Jesus Christ. Who should we have faith towards? Our Lord Jesus Christ. Did y'all hear that? Yes, All right. Romans 5 1 says, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. How do we have peace with God? Through our Lord Jesus Christ. See, so the Bible doesn't tell us that any religion is a mediator between us and God. It only tells us that Jesus Christ is the only mediator between us and God. Amen. And if we're going to have peace with God, we want to go through Jesus. Is that right? Ephesians 6.23 says, Peace be to the brethren and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Is that right? James 2.1, My brethren, have not the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Lord of glory with respect of persons. See, God doesn't want you to esteem one person greater than another. And, of course, you know as it um, begins to describe on it when you read it on down a little bit further in the scripture some people would actually behave different towards someone because they come in with you know nice clothing and then someone who doesn't come in dressed out in good apparel and stuff they would not render to them the same treatment well the Bible doesn't t teach us that hallelujah amen amen so we're going to stick with what the Bible says so we're going to stick with the faith of Jesus is that alright and we're not going to limit ourselves through religions and other cultures. We're just going to, you know, that have been passed down throughout the centuries. We're just going to stick with the book. Is that all right? all right? Amen. I'm glad we're all in agreement here. After some time of speaking in tongues, myself personally and walking with God, it seems like that over the years, now notice it says seems like, and I'm using myself as an example because I've also had to get myself back into a certain position and place. Are you following me? So it seemed like that over the years, it's, you know, when you first get filled with the Holy Spirit, there's a high level anointing. It's like you, you say Jesus and wham. You, you know what I mean? I mean, I can feel the anointing even right now. You understand what I mean? But it's like it's a high level anointing. You're walking close with Jesus and you're reading your Bible and, and, and you're doing all the things that, that get you closer and closer to God. You pray a lot in and right. You tell people about Jesus, and of course, then the devil works out life to try to do everything he can to discourage you. Isn't that right? In the way. But anyway, after about five years of doing this, you know, you kind of settle in a little bit. You settle in a little bit, and you go, wow. It's, it, it seems like that it, it takes me a little bit longer in prayer to actually uh, really, truly get in touch with God. I wonder what's going on. I wonder what's going on. And then 10 years come, 10 years come, you're going, you know, you're pretty comfortable. You're pretty comfortable. You know what the Bible says because you've been spending all that time reading the scriptures and studying. You know what to do. You know how to pray for someone um, to lead them to Jesus. 
You know how to pray for someone to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Casting out devils is an old hat, an old thing. Healing the sick, nothing new under the sun. And, and we kind of get comfortable because we expect Jesus to do all this because he's been doing it for the last 10 years. Now, I'm just using 10 years as a number because I've been saved a lot longer than 10 years. You follow me? So then we start going, I wonder what in the world is going on that, that I don't quite feel God or I'm not as close to him as I was when I first believed. You ever had that question before? Well, I figured it, I figured it would. Huh? Now, if you're new in the faith, you're, you're like this. What? Uh, just take a little time. But see, we're, I'm giving this teaching here tonight to hope that you never have to fall back just a little bit and wonder and you start questioning God. You understand what I mean? Because God is not in question. But actually, the Bible is very instrumental in telling us what we need to be doing once we, be, once we get saved. Not only once we get saved, but when we have been filled with the baptism of the Holy Spirit. The Bible actually tells us what we need to be doing. You understand that? Amen. And we're going to find out what it has to say. Hallelujah. Amen. So it's, it's not that... You know, you're not close to God, you're there, but yet the power just doesn't seem as strong. Are you following me? Hallelujah. Now, Jesus said in Mark 16, 17, that these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name, they shall cast out devils and they shall speak with new tongues. Is that right? And they shall speak with new tongues. Believers, is that right? Now, Jesus said to Nicodemus in John 3, 4, um, How can a man be born again when he is old? Do you understand that? Can he enter a second time into his mother womb and be born? And Jesus answered and said, Verily, verily, meaning truly, truly, I say unto you, except a man be born of the what? Water. And everybody normally um, uh, associates that with water baptism. Isn't that right? But then he goes on to say this. And of the Spirit. He cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Now, usually, you know, uh, people will say that you receive the Holy Spirit when you repent of your sins. I would like to believe that because it would be very easy. But that ain't what the Bible says. That's not what the Bible says. If we just, and we're going to stick with the book, amen? That's not what the Bible says. But, so, being born of the water, water baptism, there's also something else that is subsequential with this that is right there together with it that walks together with this one and one together making up one complete experience it says and of the spirit he cannot enter into the kingdom of God see so religion has been instrumental in making sure that everybody get baptized isn't that right but they have not been instrumental in making sure that people get filled with his Holy Spirit Amen. now the Bible does teach people how to be filled with the Holy Spirit not only does it teach, but it has emphatic proof of people, our brothers and sisters who have gone on before us. All the way from the time the people who walk with Jesus, talk with Jesus, ate with Jesus, slept with Jesus, lived with him, and even those afterward who heard, heard, heard the testimony and in the book of Acts. We can see what our brothers and sisters done, even up to this point. All right? Then it says this, that which is born of flesh, it is what? 